So this is gonna be a step-by-step -step how to build a gate with six by eight pre-made panels, four by four posts all the way around, concreted, and two six by six posts for a 12 foot double opening gate. It'll have two six foot panels, it'll be a 12 foot opening, very strong gate, and then we'll have a four and a half foot walkthrough gate on this side. This is the completed fence. Show you how to do the posts, how to do the panels, how to get the posts perfectly straight. All the posts are the exact same height. And this chainsaw is what I use to get the posts all exactly the same height. It only took me about 30 minutes with this electric chainsaw. I go around and make all the posts perfectly straight, exactly the same height. I wouldn't do a fence job without an electric chainsaw. A gas one will work too, but the, the lightweight electric chainsaw is a lot easier. All right, let's get started. Got John the mastermind here. So what's the first step with any fence project, John? <laughs> Figure out where you're gonna put the fence. That? And your corner posts. Get our corner posts set. These corner posts, done. you want these done the day before you start anything. You see this string, you can run this string and everything else will run off this string. The string's your best friend. So you wanna start at your survey flags. You wanna make sure you don't get anywhere near your property line. You want it surveyed so you got a good two foot space between your property line. You want to square off the corners. So once you get your corner where you want your corner post, you set this one in, you get your other corner, and then your other corner. So your three corner posts are your most important. And then once those are set, I run a string on the ground corner to corner and I spray paint it. That way I have a perfectly straight line. That way my holes are exactly where I want them to be. And once your three corners are set, your next day you can come in and put a string on it. Or you can do a 72 inches or so, about six foot. And you can run this corner to corner and run it super tight. You're literally, you're bringing it right to this string as close as you can. You want it within a finger width apart. And that way they're all, you don't want them to touch the string because you want this to be free all the way down your line. But that'll make it so all your purses are perfectly square. And that way you come in with your level and make sure everything's perfectly level. Everything gets nice and leveled on here. And then you put, mix a half a bag of concrete per post. And once these set for an hour, you can put your panels on and it makes your life a lot easier. You want to use a panel laid up against here because you want your panel flush against the end post. So this section, your first section, will be about two inches smaller than the rest of the sections. So you got to start here and get your measurements and then it's perfect the rest of the way. My board is 93 inches based off a pre-made uh, panel. These are six by eight panels that are pre-made. So I bought these at Lowe's and a 93 inch board made it perfect. So all the posts are in the same spot. Hopefully that helps you guys. We've got Mastermind John here. <laughs> so you want the top of this to be as straight as possible. Running a string is usually the best way well, you got to do a little thinking as your ground as well. You want, you don't want a big gap on the ground, so you got to kind of have a happy medium with a straight top without a gap on the bottom. So he's measuring the post to get a rough estimate, and we use a little uh, broomstick or something to help level the panel on the post. So we put one screw in here. We're gonna have this side pretty much flush with the post on the end. But I'm also gonna put a one by four trim piece over the edge to cover it. And then you can lift the other side 
until it's straight down the middle of this post. So it looks nice and square with the house. That's good. Okay, let's get some panels. You want to leave enough to screw the next one into. Here, lift up that end a little bit a second. Lift it up side. There you go. Okay, thanks. Now I can. Well, as long as it looks straight. It looks straight from a distance. That's good, because I do think we got a little bit going up. Yeah, we do have it going up. So we're just putting one screw in each side just to hold the po panels, making it look nice and level making sure our string is still staying straight with our post, that we're not moving them too much. Here we're going to be touching. There are three panels done. And when you got an uphill climb, you're going to have a little gap at the bottom, but with all these pre made panels, you're going to have gaps that actually blend it in pretty nicely. So far, so good. It's already adding some privacy to the neighbors. These pre made panels make it go a lot faster. So John's measuring an exactly eight foot to the center of the holes. And he's putting a little flag down, eight foot center. That way we can come down and dig all these holes. And now once you run your string all the way across and it's tight, once these holes are dug, you can bring your post right to the string where it's nice and square and level. So you can square the post to the string so that way you know everything is perfectly straight. You know, and you can level it all and they're all going to be exactly the same. Now that the holes are dug, we can bring the post to the string, square them off, level them, add some concrete, and let them sit. String and you're straight up now. Yep, we're good. How did I hold it there? Okay, this one's good.
you don't want to get too close to the house for the the foundation of the house so you always want to leave a good six inch gap here and then your panel will go flush against the house as long as you're close it doesn't matter so we measured from the wall eight feet to the edge of the post that way it'll be flush here and then our door the hinges will mount on the panel and then it'll swing either way it could swing out or in it doesn't really matter which way it's going to go but it'll be flush here because the door will be hanging in the air and same thing on this side it's going to be eight feet from that side to the edge here so that way the door opening it'll be from here to here ours is four and a half feet and then two eight foot sections and then we've ran posts all the way around the property they're all setting with concrete that's a good time to take a break and then you come back and throw your panels on and we got this other corner post setting and the same thing with a six inch gap from the house because of the foundation and once this one sets we can run a string here and we, we're going to do big six by sixes for a 12 foot gate on this side of the property and we're going to take a break down come back we're going to do a full eight foot panel here to our gate which is going to be a six by six there we're going to have a 12 foot gate here and then this is where it's going to get tricky since this part of the yard is open we wanted a full panel here so we're, it's going to leave us with this small section here we're going to have a we're going to have two close together posts most of the time we do them in the corner but we already have a smaller panel there so it'd look weird with three posts there which you can do it there with three posts in the corner but we decided to hide it behind the shed instead this is only going to be a three foot section here so here we measured we want an eight foot panel to be able to fit from the house to the outside of the post so eight foot is going to be right here so this is going to be eight foot so we want our post to be inside of that that way it's flush on the outside so that's how i decided to put my six by six right here So your panel comes flush here that way your door is on the inside of the post and it'll swing out of it and the same thing here this one doesn't really matter you just want a 12 foot opening from here to there if you're trying to be perfect but you can cut it any size you want so it doesn't really matter but it's going to be exactly eight feet from this side to that extra one that i'm going to add here so really this one doesn't really matter because I can throw this panel anywhere or that I can throw that post wherever it lines up with this one so I'll measure I measure from here eight feet and I'll dig another hole and then I'll have to custom make that panel so you have exactly eight feet in the corner of wherever you're starting like the house or whatever this is your this is gonna be my first panel it's gonna be eight feet exactly to the the inside of the post because that's gonna be one full panel it'll be flush to the house and it'll be flush to here all right now you can see there we have exactly 12 feet 
from the inside is exactly 12 feet to the inside of this post. So now those posts are set perfectly. So these two will be hiding behind the shed. Nobody will ever see it. Everything else is pretty much a full run. A full eight foot panel everywhere else. So it's going to look really nice. Perfect there. Perfect there. Alright, so she's ready for concrete. So now you can see we measured perfectly. It'll be as close as possible to the house. And perfectly flush with the side of this post. Nice and square. So now that the top end is square over there, I'm going to kick the bottom in to make sure it's flush with the wall. All right, let's see how that turned out. So I loosened the top screw when I lifted that side and I want to put that top screw back in. All right, check this out. Let's see how smooth this is. So that fence is literally flush with the house. You can't get more flush than that. And I left a tiny gap here, which is normal because most of these panels aren't perfect. There's little gaps all the way across. Once you back away from this thing, it looks perfect. So that's our first panel before our gate. Now, we're perfectly flush here and flush with the house. So this went exactly how I wanted. And then our hardware is gonna mount onto the front of this because our six by six is behind it. So we'll have plenty to bite into. And we'll use big lag bolts and everything. You'll see that later. But it'll be perfectly flush here and it'll swing out. And it'll also swing out on that side. So now the same thing we did here, we can do there going that way. And then we have that little one to deal with in the middle. We'll deal with that after. Fit in our puzzle piece now. Trying to play with this uneven ground here. Stick into our string line. Trying to pick a happy medium with the ground and string where it looks the best. As long as we get a piece in here to fit and then this little puzzle piece, it'll look perfect. This is the front. <laughs> that turned out a lot better than I thought it was going to. That level with the other one? Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, there you go. Freaking awesome, though. <laughs> yeah. Alright, now we're running our string line for the back side. Hopefully we can get our panels all the same height here. That's where your trick is with a high ground. Luckily we didn't have to cut the bottom of it. 
Normally we'd cut the bottom to make it flush with the ground, but we wanted a straight top here. So we left it full height, that way it would match the backside. The back's not perfect, but the string line still helps us get an idea of what looks straight. And it's going well with the ground. So far, so good. Five minute fence. This is where we want to perfectly run with the string. And we stopped our string line here we have a because, because we have a downward hill. And then it seems like the highest peak is right here. So we're going to dig a little trench. That way, the height of the post, uh, the height of the fence is still the same height. And then we pull down on this side a little so bit. A little trench here helped, so we're lower than the string now. And now we can lift up to the string, and then we can fill in this little trench. This way, they can see he's doing all the work. <laughs> what do you think? Hurry up, man. <laughs> Push it down here. Okay. Now, before even... Because, see, this is... It actually does go well, down. So we might leave it. So. Yeah, that's fine. Just a little... I mean, it doesn't have to be... The, yeah. Yeah, we're up about this end. And we're over like a foot over here. <laughs> we're gonna have to cut it for sure. It's like we gotta dig another trench. Watch out for the survey stay. Watch. 
better not. <laughs> Which is beautiful on the edge, perfectly square with the post. I'll cut that little sliver off and put a trim board over it so that'll be invisible. But our long run is done. It looks really good. That's a big step. All the panels on this side are done. All the panels down the back side are done. The panels on the far side are done except the gate. And now we only have two little panels up in the front to do and we're done. So now we're digging a trench on this side so that way we can square the top of it off. So we gotta lower the left side of the hill. Yeah, I got it. Okay, watch your fingers like that. There you go. Oh, it's catching on a piece. So is that too high there? Yeah, I'll do it with my Dremel. So we gotta cut this end one, that way I can get over the foundation slab so it goes flush against the wall. foundation in the corner. Perfect. And then we lift this side to be flush with our post. And we're good. Pretty good measurements. Yep, right on. Well, John's the mastermind. That way you look at our ground here. If we stayed on top of the ground, we would have been like 10 feet in the air. All right, we got a new plan. Since there's such a big height difference here, and this ground is slanted, it's, the only way to square it is this whole panel is gonna have to be shorter. So if we take off the bottom panel of four inches, we can make it the same height as this one, and that way we'll have a perfectly straight line. Cut our four inches off. Now we're gonna notch this end one again a little bit, just so it goes up against the wall flush. So that helped the straightness of that a lot. We're gonna run a string just to double check. She's ready for a gate. Starting to look good. Now I just gotta go in and reattach more screws everywhere. I only put in the top screw until I get it level. Once I know my fence is straight and square, then I can go around and add more screws. So far so good. A good looking fence, John. Yeah, I'm happy with it. All we got left are the two gates. As you can see, the posts are all perfectly the same height. 
They're all one inch above the top board. And that little electric chainsaw made it so much easier. So I left all the holes open so I could go around and fill them all in concrete when I'm done. Because after you cut the post, they move a little bit. So I, I save, I save about a quarter of a bag for each post. So when I'm all done touching the fence, I go around and put a little bit to top them all off, and then I put water in them. And that way, when I leave this place, I know all the posts are perfectly set. All right, let's put the trim boards on. So the trim boards really help in a place like this where you're coming up a hill and then it's flat going this way. So your panels are coming in at two different angles. So you put a trim board on here and it covers this gap nicely. That corner piece really helps finish it. And make sure it's level on both sides, all the way to the ground. and make it look good on the top. All right, now we just got one more on the front end. Trim pieces on every end. So there's the front. Gonna be a four and a half foot gate there. And here's the back. And this is the side with the 12 foot gate. And this is completely flush to the house. Very small gap to the house. Very clean looking. It's gonna look really good once that gate is on there. There's a one last go around before I put the gates on. Those corner pieces close up the gaps in the corners really nicely. Fence is perfectly straight. As you can see from the inside, those corner those corner boards really close up the gap perfectly. All the corners are sealed perfectly. And this is gonna be a four and a half walkthrough gate right here. So everything's done on the fence except the gates. It's coming along perfectly.